Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. Today, I'm going to show you my dynamic effort lower body workout of the week. Now here I'm continuing with the GPP wave. So I'm doing as many doubles as I can in 15 minutes. Here is 230 pounds, because remember this bar weighs 85 pounds. And I did 25 total sets compared to last week when I did 220 pounds or 215 pounds for 25 total sets. So I upped the intensity a little bit and left the volume the same. And the density was a bit different because obviously my rest periods were not identical to last week. This is a great way to help your setup because you have to re-rack and unrack the bar that many more times because you are limiting yourself to doubles. So that's another benefit of this method and your lungs are on fire. So a lot of benefits with this method. Like I said, I did it about 25 sets. 50 total reps, which comes out to almost around 10,000 pounds volume. Then, I'm continuing with this wave as well for high deficits. This is a three and a half inch deficit with 375 pounds, five sets of three with about a minute rest in between each set. It's a great way for the deadlift. If I were to do five sets of five, I would lower their percentage by about 10%. Great lift for building deadlift lockout strength and off the floor. You wouldn't think it would build lockout strength, but because you're traveling a big distance, you have to maintain tightness that much longer. Then I started doing these staggered stance deadlifts. Pfft, sorry, staggered stance good mornings. And I like these. I didn't think I would, but I really like these. In the lead leg, you get a huge stretch in the glutes and hamstrings. They look really weird, but I really like this move. And obviously, you have to go lighter. It could be great for a great change of pace, or if you're looking to do a lighter variation of good mornings, you could do that. But these are great. I would not suggest going heavy on these. You can if you want, but definitely don't go heavy right away. Don't expect to use the same numbers you do on good mornings the standard way than this. Then here's some barbell rows. I decided to strap up and go a bit heavier. Here's 250 pounds for 10 reps. This is how rows should look. Now it's really popular to do these super, super heavy rows with terrible form. You can see my torso angle is not raising that much, and I'm really moving the weight with my back. That's how rows should be. And then I did some drop downs. I did two drop down sets of 225 with no straps. And this uh, is a great way. Go heavy, then go light for some extra volume. It's, it's as classic as weightlifting itself it predates weightlifting almost if that's even possible then i did some nordic ham curls with a push off the bottom i'm gonna try working these in strict and i've been looking at some ways to do that but these killed my hamstrings killed them killed them killed them killed them you have to be careful when you push off the floor because you have to give yourself consistent help because one day if you're pushing harder than the other, you're not really doing progressing and doing the same exercise. You might be making it easier some days and might, might be doing it harder. So these are the rounders that I was talking about. I don't even do reps for these. I just set a timer and a goal of total time and then try and do that. As you can see right here, even when I'm not moving at the top, the bar is trying to pitch me forward and I have to maintain my upper back position in order for my back not to collapse. So that still works the muscles. It's a brutal exercise. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.